Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will learn how to disable IPv6 for Avaya or Experience Portal 6.0. Let us begin our exercise by logging into Experience Portal Manager's command line access with root user and its password. Once they are open a file slash etc slash modeprobe.d slash dis.con. In this file, look for IPv6 related configurations. We have to comment out this line here. And now go at the bottom of this file. We will need to make some new entries in this file. So let's add these two lines here. Elias net hyphen pf hyphen 10 off and Elias IPv6 off. Now save the changes using colon wq and come out of this file. Open another file in vi editor slash etc slash sysconfig slash network. We'll have to add an entry in this file to disable IPv6. Add line networking underscore IPv6 is equal to off and save the changes. Now let's check the status of firewall on this system. By using command, check config hyphen hyphen list IP6 tables. The output shows that this firewall is enabled on the system. So let's try to disable it using command check config IP6 tables off. Now confirm the status by running the same command check config hyphen hyphen list IP6 tables. Now the output shows that it has been disabled. Let's check the status of IP tables firewalls as well. By running command check config hyphen hyphen list IP tables. The output again shows that this is enabled. So we'll have to repeat the same steps to disable this. So issue command check config IP tables off and then check config hyphen hyphen list IP tables to see the updated status. So it has been disabled now. Now let's check the status of service IP tables on the system by running command service IP table status. The output shows that this firewall is still running on the system. Let's stop this service using command service IP table stop. Similarly, we have to stop IP6 table service as well. So issue command service IP6 table stop. Once both of them are stopped, the next step is to confirm if security enhanced Linux is enabled or disabled on the system by going to the file slash etc slash sysconfig slash se Linux. This file contains a parameter called se linux. In our case, it is disabled, so we are good on that. Come out of this file. Now the last step will be to reboot the server by issuing command shutdown hyphen r now. This will broadcast a message that the system is going for a reboot now and our remote connection will be lost. This completes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing avaya.